Hey, yeah, folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome Research to another complete. episode of a Let's Play Stellaris. We are the Super Roach, De Roach Devourers, and for three episodes now, we've been fighting the Church of the One True Gilbert. But uh, things aren't going too bad. Um, actually, uh, last episode, I just saw the Ripper Auto Cannon again. One of the things that keep meaning to try, which I've never done in any of our videos, is um, torpedo corvettes or cruiser cor or missile corvettes. We might try something like that. But yeah, generally the, the Ripper Auto Cannons are pretty good in some of these combos as well here. Um, we don't really, I don't think regardless of what we're gonna do, we're not gonna use destroyers at this stage of the game. So I don't think that's pretty, I don't think that's that useful. The planetary build speed, I don't generally care about. Maybe it leads to something interesting other than just multipliers. Maybe I should just grab it to see. Could also alleviate some of our housing concerns. Let's grab this. Cause that's definitely going to be useful at some point build more work districts as opposed to hive districts. Construction ship. Yeah, I guess you're just going to ch stay chilling for now. Let's go and sell a bunch of food. And, oh my god, the cleanup. The cleanup crew is finally here. Alright, cool. Make your way to the front here. And, for your rebuild. Yeah, this look, looks this looks fine. Or, yeah, we can wait it a little bit more towards cruisers because we, th I don't know. Should, you know what? Cleanup crew, you're going to be different because you are going to be. That's the wrong button. You are going to be the one that's escorted by corvettes as a cleaning, a screening element. All right, start building that, and yeah, make your way towards the front, please and thank you. Research complete. Start with capacity. Uh, the ability is basically maxed everywhere right now. We don't need the capacity limit, clearly. We don't need climate restoration. I can cycle that. You know what? I'll just do the bonus research thing. Because even if we are just looking to cycle through things, then that'll cycle through yes, things off. faster. Our ships have been made. Yes, Good. So it's not even that big of a fleet. Their, their tech shouldn't be ahead of us. I mean, I don't I don't think there's any way of that. Can we finally get info on them? Oh. Uh, maybe these are max. Yeah, but super hard difficulty. Yeah, we don't have any real... Uh, we don't have the decryption deck. Because I've mostly been ignoring the espionage. But now I'm a little bit salty that I did. Okay, they're going to try to take this. The question is, what are they going to do after that? Our forces have made planet fall. Oh, right. We have to clean up the planet in the back. Actually, I should take a minute. At first, hold on. Then I should take a minute and see. We're not being, like, poked anywhere else, are we? How come the background here is a different color? Okay, just, like, nebula stuff. No, okay. Everything else is fine all the reinforcements happening, especially when we spam out Corvettes. Oh man, oh man. Now, I don't think the Corvettes are as efficient in the build queue. But yes, they don't take as long as battleships, but I don't think they take, like, enough not long enough. I kind of want to see if I can just make sure these things are trapped. Yeah. So yeah, our fleet's over here. I'm just going to move forward. Well, we'll gauge what we can engage. Upgrading here too, but it's not really a big deal. It's just some ships that were on the way here. In between of some tweaks. Okay. Uh yeah, ignore the reinforcement one. I mean we have 60k versus their 20k. But I am going to do this. Because some of them are coming here. Hopefully we'll catch them a little bit piecemeal. And not super short range. Hopefully. We're going to engage there. There's some reinforcements we're going to cut off. Things that are still pathing here. Maybe some of these looking to retreat. Uh, that's a nice upgrade. Cheaper, faster module upgrades. Uh, let's take a look at the time project. Gilbert's eye. Uh, yeah, we can't really reach that. And then where's Unatra? We can reach this, actually. Oh, right, because we just we were just skirmishing over here. Excellent. 
that fleet. Yeah, let's go. Research complete. I think they were going to their hyper relay to come back here. Hold on. No, they're coming to Unatra is what they're doing. So we'll meet them there. I don't want to jump and just show up like super close to them. Alright, let's, at this point, I'm just going to get the planetary shield generators out of here, because A, it annoys me, but B, we may decide to do a fortress planet. All strongholds plus a planetary generator to, you know, delay bombardment, and just put a big chokehold there. I mean, eventually it'll fall from bar bar bombardment, but it will take a while. Okay, I think they changed their minds, but they still... Okay, now they're running to the other system. So, tell you what, we're just going to park our fleet on the outskirts. All right, go. Here. Construction completed. Hastily. There we go. Yeah, it is going to be a pretty short range. Where's my second fleet? There it is. My second and bigger fleet. Although, oh, hold on. One of these is hirelings that they just released? Oh. Okay. Wait, are they hiring a bunch of, like, are they, is it Marauder fleets or something? Maybe that's what's kicking my ass. Their, their number would be higher. I was going to say, their tech may be better and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but their number would be higher to represent that. Okay, Hive Districts, additional housing. Ring World, Hive Segments, more housing. We finish Prosperity, which gives us more resources and jobs and stability, which is handy. And another thing. Honestly, we should do become the Crisis. But I want to go Evolutionary Mastery, because it sounds like fun. I might not do the edit until we pick up our biotech. Okay, we just started this. If I say change... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay. You're here. Okay, do this, and then, yeah, come forward. That's another big fleet at 25k. Still, I think I'll try to hold the line there. Okay, fight, but not really. And yeah, you can see another species in there. So we're still eating people, which is again why our food is so high. Okay, that's only 14k. Does the Zone 1 really pull back? Okay, in which case, I'm totally fine with us moving in here right now. Uh, okay, they're going through the hyper relay. They're not coming here, are they? Oh, no, they might be. Okay, habitat ready. Thanks, I appreciate it. Oh, they're re-landing here. Okay, I couldn't figure out how I was being invaded and where we were. I got, I got a little bit confuzzled there. We did finish taking that, right? Yes, good. So yeah, move back up to the front. Research complete. We're nearly capped on allies again. Ooh, neutronium. We want the better afterburners for our Corvettes, really. But, I mean, neutronium is good for everyone. Although, I suppose the defensive tech might matter a little less with the Corvettes, because they get blown up so fast regardless. Uh, there was something else I was about to do. I'm like, oh, I should do block. Well, certainly one of the things would, is going to be to run the, more reinforce over here. But we still have some alloys left. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to start a new fleet, but I'm going to explicitly start it here. I mean, that should still have to be king, right? May, should I be, be using more artillery battleships? Like, because, you know, combination of the carriers and artillery is really nice, but I don't think we've got much to artillerize. F it, I'll just make another group of Corvettes, because I feel... Like... Just absolutely befuddled. The enemy. Has captured our planet. Hey, that is that is a lot. And yeah, they do have the Hydra Warriors fleet with them. The robot fanboys are here too. Yeah, you guys are chilling here. But hoop this, and then we'll get you to come back here. Because you're gonna go fast. Mm -hmm. Feel the Fend off the evaders. 
yeah, that's fine. But yeah, keep the transport fleet relatively close to the front. Cleanup crew, I want I you two of your ships are a little bit older, so I did want to make sure to upgrade you before we moved forward. Ooh, yeah, we do have. I don't know who's closer. I'm just gonna send both. Oh, this is the one that's closest anyway. Okay, so you are gonna be another all Corvette fleet. So it'd be nice to have. Ah, oh, the speed's okay. Let's say if there was an inv evasion booster, that would be nice here. Now move up to the front. Keep trying to chain upgrade or er, um. Reinforce is really what I'm looking for. Uh, I don't know if it's worth. No, that's that's pretty far away. Actually, why is it going there instead of here? That's fine. Just wait here. Okay, they did pull back. We actually might. Research complete. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come here. Oh, they forced the status quo on us. Which is fine, because we've lost nothing over here. I mean, we lost a bunch of time, but otherwise, uh, yeah, nothing. Okay, so this changes a couple of things. We are going to be able to spend some alloys in colony ships. Uh, we, hell, we could spend some alloys and some influence building some stuff. I should probably do that. Um, I also want to go and take out some of these bad guys. Um, and yeah, the closest one is going to be the Stellarite Devourer. So let me send my fleets all over here. Monetary shield generator, defense grid supercomputer. We may want to build in specific places. It's there. It's purple. Let's do it. Yeah, we need cobrator tech, clearly. Um, oh, a little bit shy there. Now, last time I couldn't figure out how to build an orbital ring. Do you need a particular type of star? Okay, let me look this up. Stellaris build orbital ring. Okay. Um, it's not really helping me. Okay, cookies I accept. Sorry about this. I meant to look this up before. Orbital rings can be built around... Oh, they're built around colonized planets! Oh! Oh, they're not the things you build around stars? Oh! Okay, act as an initial star base or provide useful bonuses for the planet below. What, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of uh, ring worlds. Okay, this is not a ring world. It's an orbital ring. Starbase variant forms a band encircling the planet. Oh. Well, fuck. Let's let's do that on our homeworld. Sorry for the curse word there. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Didn't mean to cancel the uh, the command there. And that ate a tiny little bit of our influence. They're expensive to build in terms of alloys, but yeah, that's about it. Um, okay, we've we've got construction ships that are on auto, so we clearly don't have anything there. I don't know if I'm going to do the, all the hyper relay stuff. I don't know. You know, it probably makes sense. Homeworld to you know maybe the L gates and things. Sure. Research speed boost. Oh, wow. We just got the 5% research speed boost. Wait, from our science ships? We're able to get that? That's not a ship technology. Well, I, I mean, it sort of leads... If they're using, like, AI modules for things... I don't know. Did we really get that? Oh, we got a lot. What do we receive? Oh, yeah, I didn't actually double check. There's... Okay, it's time to go through all our planets here. Let's see their situation. But yeah, I can't remember. We might have gotten some planets that I didn't actually do the uh, the growth rate booster on. Oh yeah, Hive Capital is fine. This place desperately needs more work sites. Now, um, we do want the planetary supercomputer. And probably another research lab. 
And then we're obviously going to have to start upgrading soon. In fact, I'm going to assume by the time all this is done, it's going to be ready to go for the next thing. Um, yeah, so you've, we don't have to get rid of your growth builders yet. You are going to need some extra jobs. Okay, we're still going crazy on food, but I think we're still eating people. And this is obviously an agro world. We might convert a lot of things over. Oh, and it's lush, yeah. If there was ever an agro world, this is the one. So let's do that. Now that's actually not really going to do much for extra jobs. Let me do this. Okay. Uh, you as well. Okay, so this is currently an agro world, but I'm not convinced it's going to have to stay that way. Okay, we have no deviancy. We're not going to need the sentinel post. Oh, you never got the cloning center. Uh, yes, you did. Sorry, it's there. Hemp world, energy world. I mean, it could be it could be a fringe world and work on all three of those, but it doesn't feel as efficient to other things. Um, yeah, second home. Probably, probably tech for now. I, although, again, long term is the alloy foundries, or even do I go auto curating vault and build a bunch of? We make another unity world here. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. That's what I want to do. And we're going to explicitly designate you to a unification center. Wow, you need some jobs too. Now this, all of a sudden, so this is a little trickier because we can't build more districts. We can't do that. I can't, I think this might add some extra job sites, but I don't know if I care that much about upgrading you. Uh, if I check at resources, just to make sure, okay, the planet doesn't have anything like that. Um, we could go and build some more conversion stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, resource processing. Boost foundry and artisans, which we don't do artisans. But yeah, two more factory drone jobs, buffs this up. Okay, still quite good for a forge world. But then after that, yeah, there's nothing really we need, so probably I just build some research stations. Okay, oh, you're a small planet. Yeah, but you're not quite at the cap yet. You're gonna need some jobs soon. We don't have, like, unlimited amount of um, minerals here. So, I'm just gonna... Oh, there we go. You're not four jobs. That's pretty low. This is not gonna be an aggro world. 100% this is not gonna be that. Uh, we already need some more mining worlds, actually, especially if I keep building tech stuff and alloy processing stuff. Ew. Let me get back to you. Our tech world and going fine. Sorry, I'm only looking at pop numbers here, so I might miss somewhere that doesn't have a span spawning place. Okay, now we're back at the capital. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through and find somewhere that could be a great mining world. Okay, that, no, again, this is the agri world, so we're not doing that. Um, this unification place, what it could do, actually, is convert all these agricultural districts over to mining ones. Maybe. Okay, this place here, this forge world, is actually going to be a mining world. That's exactly what it's going to be. Change the designation. Even though it's not going to be useful right now, but this way I don't forget it. So I'm going to get started on mining districts here. Let me hotkey you as well. We'll come by and make some other changes. Okay, this place here doesn't have infinite mining districts, but we're gonna go and throw some in. We might we might not remove these industrial districts. We'll see. Okay, uh, running low on that, so we'll uh, running low on minerals. So I'm just gonna stop that. Uh, is colonizable, um, and yeah, just. At this point, just filter to the 80% and we'll come back to anything else. Actually, maybe I should prioritize things that might be a mining world. Or, you know, the actual good planets. Oh, wait, are these... Okay, no, it's not holy, it's not holy. Okay. These are the holy ones. I mean, we got all these 100%. Well, that's only 90%, actually. I guess this is... Yeah, reduced habitability. I say, hold on, on Continental World, we should have 100%. But I guess we're just at 100 without going over. Budget, let's go. Let's let's land Let's land everywhere. I want to prioritize the planets, but... 
got lots ready to go. Let's do it. I guess that's distance from the nearest um, shipyard. Okay. All right. Okay, that's, yeah, things are going to get real busy real quick. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Lucky Break's got some problems. Lacking minerals. And we really are. Okay, we are going to buy more. Weren't we, like, sitting at, like, mineral cap over and over a little bit ago? Maybe we inherited a lot of planets with a lot of production bonuses. We do have a lot of planets. Oh, I should really be making these into freaking sectors as well. And I said if there was a button, like, build all the sectors and generate some random governor for them. Like, I really, even, I don't even care about their stats. That doesn't actually sound like something that would make sense to add in a game. Something with that kind of, like, uncontrolled RNG. That's not that's not a really well-implemented feature. That might be something that would be great as a mod, though. Just notice. Uh, you need to terraform. As do you. That'll be something else I should check on next time I tab through everything. But uh, I'm sure I'll be doing a tab through between episodes. So I'll try to make sure... I'll try to remember to do that one as one of them. Sweet. Nearly there. And, yeah, there you're there now. Good. So just go ahead and upgrade when you get there. And we're going to take out a Stellarite Devourer. I mean, I'm sure we got more than enough for that. Now, this, I think, would be a good case for, like, artillery ships. Bless off. I mean, I'm hoping they don't have something that, like, auto-counters whatever I'm bringing to the party here. Do, 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 do. Debris still happening. That's excellent. Completing... Ooh, we got Neutronium Armor. Uh, Mega Structure Restoration. Yes. Oh, Titans. Yes. Juggernaut. Oh, God. Uh, we do have a mega structure to, to restore, though. So I'm going to do that. And you guys know me, I love mega structures. That'll probably be the next freaking ascension perk I take. Oh. Okay. Assets. Sure, fine. Oh, everything's upgrading to neutronium armor. And. Their we might have to um, we might have to do this again for the next batch here. Uh, let's just the surveyor right now. Oh shit, Fuck our money. Never mind. Yeah. Was thinking, was like, was there other stuff? But no. The thing to do is to run this. Get more money. There we go. Wow, that is a big jump, and clearly a sign that we have to keep working on our economy here. Our ships have been made. Bless off. Okay, that's done. Uh, so there's no more debris. I'm gonna put an auto explorer on you because there might be some new stuff to discover for a little bit. I guess actually we'll have to manually um, survey. You know what? Hold on. You, instead of auto exploring, come here so you can be ready to survey this. Thank you. Sorry to give you confusing orders there, ship captain, but I promise you it's for the best. Research complete. Advanced rail gun. Oh, that was just an auto-complete. Oh, okay. And we got a second science ship. So you know what? You can auto-explore. Our ships have been made. Let's go. Our colonists have reached their destination. Reinforce all. So, oh, everything is actually reinforced all. So some of it is still on the way, which is why these things are in red. Oh, the Church of One True Gilbert sent someone over here to auto-explore. And then immediately GG'd out. There. Our ships should I change my ships to have jump drives? Less off. I mean, they should probably have it. That way, they'll be it'll be there as an option. Probably. Okay. So, did you build the ring world against around my capital? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Do do I not interact with it? It's a different type of station. That's the orbital habitat. That's the construction ship. That's Carapace itself. I don't know, I guess we're okay. 
I mean, I can see the visual of it. Does it show up as a buff somewhere? Our colonists have reached their destination. Based on the wiki, it looks like there's a... There are three tiers of them. Orbital rings have a fire rate, so they do shoot. Oh, hey, the aliens. Oh, probably an exclave or something. There are... I don't know if there's something to click. Is it a hold? No. Armies. Population. I might be missing it. Wait, this construction ship is just here. Wait. Oh, you're not done building it yet! Our colonists have reached their destination. Oh, see, there was the idle construction ship in the system, so I thought it was done. See how that happened? Like, pretty eat. Like, yeah. Oh, I thought it was done. Okay. I suspect orbital things are something you want to build everywhere. Like the orbital rings around all your biggest planets. Yeah, I'll build another habitat here. Um, but I don't know how much like having more planets is really going to help us at this point. All right, fleets are moving forward. Looks like their reinforcements have arrived as well. Some of them could use a round of upgrading, probably neutronium, just a few reinforcements, I think. So I'm not going to worry about that. Their destination. Oh, sweet destination. Okay. We do want to go in, yeah, as a group. So, just because we move at different speeds, let's do this. It'll increase the chance of us going through as a big group here. Okay. I mean, this is definitely overkill, I'm sure, for the Leviathans. I think. I hope. I mean, we can get to, like, you know, fleets that are 100k and more strength. Um, in honestly the not too distant future that stuff's going to start happening but okay let's go I mean this thing is eating a star but yeah no we're fine I think by the time you get to 50k it's okay Ooh. okay vanquish it curls up um, we can study the corpse or retrieve the egg sack Leviathan Parade Opportunity. Now, I think in most of our runs, we'd do this. But I think with this run, we're just going to devour the corpse. Unless, unless we are allowed to make an omelet out of the egg. This situation has been but I'm going to do that. Maybe one leads to a technology and one the other doesn't. I don't know. Okay, research that. That's going to be fine. And yeah, this fleet here. Oh yeah, we barely lost anything. We're going to go to the next most convenient space monster. Probably this one here. And yeah, we did take a few losses, but barely. Yeah, just some Corvettes. Okay. And in fact, I could probably split these up and do more space monsters a little bit faster, but I'm not too bothered by this. Uh, we only got another 100 fleet capacity. So we definitely, we would go over if we built another fleet. Not by necessarily an apocalyptic amount, but we would go over. I guess this construction ship can go here because we're clearly going to want to annex the system at some point. Research log. Stellar Devour. Studies of the Shining Remains left, leaves us perplexed and amazed. Star Feasting Being is a miniature fusion furnace, harvesting solar matter to synthesize an energy source of its own. Since the body still contains significant amounts of solar matter from the star, one of the, the last... The one it last fed from, sorry. It could be possible to extract the energy and reinvigorate the star. Harvesting the corpse's heat for our own ends could satisfy our energy needs in the short term, but would doom the system to an eternal ice age. Well, I don't really care about that. We could reignite the star? That sounds like more fun. Like, what's this gonna give me? Nothing I care about. Let's totally to try to reignite the star. That sounds awesome. Uh, research. Now I kind of wish we could eat that egg, though. Egg sounds great. Maybe I'll have eggs for dinner tonight. I think I always get into this thing where, like, these star bases, I run out of useful things to put in. So, oh no, there's still the resource silo here. Okay, for some reason I thought I didn't see it in the list. I didn't notice it in the list. So I'm like, oh, maybe it's already got one. Because yeah, these like messages about unfinished slots. At least we can spam the solar panel network. That's never going to be a bad thing. Oh man, we would be in a huge hole right now without our relic. But yeah, getting more capacity for things is going to be handy, so let's throw that stuff in there. 
Um, I guess we're keeping this one as a shipyard for whatever reason. So I should actually fill it with, ship with that. Same thing here. You're kind of supposed to be a shipyard. So be a shipyard. Unless unless I send you something else. No, but Thembar, yes, that's right. No, I do want Thembar to be a shipyard because that's the one at the far south. Okay. Um, so, Hitman's Blunder. That's terraforming. Um... I think if you'd be anything, you'd be an energy planet. Because, yeah, you have so much here. So let's just stack that. Although right now you are a refinery world. But, wow, there's no reason to build anything right now. Because you have unlimited space. Okay. So you guys are going to come over here. Research, defense grid. Well, the proton and neutron launchers are pretty good for artillery ships. So let's work on that. Okay, the project was a success. Submerging stellar devourers remains into the star, stoke the flames of the solar furnace. Planets in the system are heating up, reverting to their past forms as their ecologies recover. Among them was a frozen world, now thawing to reveal a Gaia world, ripe and ready for colonization. Woo! Kaboom! Where's your kaboom? It's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Okay. Up there, established colonies, those are just new, those are not... Yeah, those are not the ones where I want to push the button to... It's not the ones I can queue up some buildings yet. I think. Um, well, let's just sell the food. I think with plus 400, I mean, we're still eating people, I'm assuming. Did they not show up? Or are we actually legitimately, legitimately generating that much food? That's crazy. But yeah, negative minerals is kind of annoying. I'm going to put a cut in here. I'm going to go through all these planets. Double check that they're all terraformed the right way. Um, oh yeah, my habitats. Yeah, they need... Maybe it was those pop-ups. And again, you kind of need amenities immediately. Huh. Maybe just cranky because of unemployment? No, maybe we build one, and then we see. You have three research districts. What the heck? Yeah, same sort of thing. I don't know. Maybe there's different basic buildings. Maybe normally the... Hold on. The spawning pool gives us any... Spawning drones increase amenities. Yes. I mean, not a tremendous amount, but yeah, there we go. Okay. So, then... I'm going to change what we're doing here, first of all, and, and do this instead. Spawning pool, we'll cloning vat to raise the population. We'll get you three research districts, and we can figure out what's going on. Okay, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll put the cut in here. I'll deal with the our massive amount of planets in between episodes. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.